And congratulations to you, Mr. President, on your anniversary. I'm sure this was the mo most romantic place you could imagine <laughs> here, here with me. My view is that we ought to provide tax relief to people in the middle class, but I'm not going to reduce the share of taxes paid by high-income people. High-income people are doing just fine in this economy. They'll do fine whether you're president or I am. Uh, for 18 months, he's be been running on this tax plan. And uh, now, five weeks before the election, uh, he's saying that his big, bold idea is, never mind. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. I actually like you, too. Now, does anybody think that ExxonMobil needs some extra money when they're making money every time you go to the pump? And that is, in fact, I was wrong when I said the president isn't proposing any changes for current retirees. In fact, he is on Medicare. On Social Security, he's not. But on Medicare, for current retirees, he's cutting $716 billion from the program. Uh, and the essence of the plan is that he would turn Medicare into a voucher program. Uh, it's called premium support, but it's understood to be a voucher program. Uh, his and running you, mate. And you don't support that? I don't. We're, we're, we're running out of time, Jim, gentlemen. Jim, so I think you have a chance. Yeah, yes, yes a respond chance. to that. Mr. Yes, Mr. Sir, Pre Mr. President, you're entitled as a president of your own airplane and to your own house, but not to your own facts. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm not going to cut education funding. Four years ago, uh, I said that I'm not a perfect man and I wouldn't be a perfect president. And that's probably a promise that Governor Romney thinks I've kept. This is, a, uh, this is an important election, and I'm concerned about America. I'm concerned about the direction America has been taking over the last four years.